Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Skella, and this is our temporary set while our new set gets built. Uh, but for now, let's hit the headlines. <laughs> Komatsu is one of the largest construction companies in the world, and they're facing an issue that may affect the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games. They don't have enough workers to operate heavy machinery, so they're turning to drones to guide their robotic bulldozers and stuff. The service is called Smart Construction, and because of Japan's aging population, meaning less able-bodied people to operate heavy machinery, Komatsu devised a way to operate those heavy machines by remote-controlled drones, who map out work areas and update them in real time as the bulldozers and other vehicles move dirt and other debris around a site. Komatsu still needs a couple of people on the ground to ensure that they can handle problems if they arise or if anything needs to be fixed, but those people don't actually require the same kind of training a full-blown machine operator would need. In addition, surveying sites with drones dramatically decreases the amount of time it takes to complete the mapping and also drops the margin of error considerably. So while Japan still has an aging population and that's going to be an issue going forward, it's pretty awesome that Komatsu's answer to that problem was, hey, let's just throw a bunch of drones and robots at it and see what happens. Okay, so going from one Olympic city to another, there's a pair of VJs in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, who are coming up with new and interesting ways to show off both their audio and visual techniques. Yoga Murata and Ceci Soloaga designed and assembled these amazing trikes that they call Suave Ciclos. They're packed to the brim with features like high-powered projectors, laptops, batteries, and speakers, and they're all rolled up into a boxy mount set on top of each one of the tricycle frames. And what they do is they go around and they play music for everyone in the vicinity, and while they do that, they project beautiful high quality animations onto nearby surfaces and can even manipulate them to conform to building edges and other environmental features in the area. Apparently they have been doing this for the last year or so and have taken the Suave Ciclos through places like Russia, Germany, and Switzerland. But honestly, this is the first time I've heard of them and so now I want them to come to Los Angeles and show off their super skills with their Suave Ciclos. So awesome. All right, very last headline, and then we'll get into new releases. We have to talk about the electrical engineering professor who created a bikini that absorbs pollution when you swim in the ocean. This swimsuit is called the sponge suit bikini. So here's the science behind it. The material the suit is made of is called sponge, and it consists of carbon material that's light, flexible, and can absorb just about anything up to 25 times its weight, except water, which makes it a great material for things like cleaning up spills and also desalination. Add sponge to a 3D printed frame designed by Ire Carbajo, an architecture and design firm in Istanbul, and voila, a beautiful, cool looking, pollution absorbing bikini. The material is relatively cheap to mass produce and poses no harm to the wearer since sponge traps contaminants inside the material's pores and doesn't get let out unless it's heated to a very high temperature. So space age. And honestly, that suit is super fashionable. I mean, I would wear it. So great work, science. All right, guys, let's check out our new releases. This week's new releases include Yoshi's Wooly World for Wii U on October 16th. Of course, we're rejoining Yoshi. It is the first major Yoshi title for the Wii U. And honestly, it looks like the cutest, cuddliest game you've ever seen in your life. Everything's made of yarn, and I just want to squish it and make my heart grow a hundred times. So I'm really excited for that. Then there is the Witcher 3 Heart of Stone expansion for PS4, Xbox One, and PC on October 13th, which is today, and provides you with over 10 hours of new content and storyline for your lovely hero Geralt to experience. And of course, last but certainly not least, Crimson Peak hits theaters this week on the 16th of October. It's Guillermo del Toro's new gothic horror movie. It stars Tom Hiddleston, Jessica Chastain, Charlie Hunnam, and Mia Wasikowska. And honestly, it looks... So beautiful, you guys. Get out your Victorian garb and go see Crimson Peak this weekend. I know we all want to. Okay, let's talk about your pictures. It's time for our photographer of the day. Today's photographer is Austin, who writes to us and sends us this lovely picture he took on his iPhone 6 Plus. And he says, Hey, Ashley, I'm a new fan of the show, and so far I love what I've seen. You guys are great, and I can't wait to see the new set. I took this photo in Daphne, Alabama at a nature walk called Alligator Alley. 
Although I didn't get any pictures of alligators, I did manage to get this picture of the sun setting over Mobile Bay. I would love to share my local scenery with Tomorrow Daily fans so you have my full permission to use my photos on the show. Thanks, Austin. P.S. As I wrote this message, I read it back to myself in your voice. Love the show and hope to see my photos soon. Well, Austin, thank you for granting us permission to use your picture on the show because we have used it. You're welcome. And thank you for sending it to us. If you guys want to send in your photography, you can email us tomorrow at cnet.com. You can always find us on the internet. We're tomorrowdaily.com if you want to actually share the show with a friend. Uh, and of course, you can find us on social media. We're Tomorrow Daily all over the place. If you want updates for the show or if you want to talk to me or producer Logan online, you can find us on Twitter at Ashley Escada and at Logan Moy. That's it for today's show, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of science fag, needing science fiction, and being all awesome and stuff. But until then, be good humans. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>